Occasionally, schools find it necessary to edit a student's record. There are several reasons that a school may need to edit a student's record. Perhaps the student entered incorrect information when they registered. Another reason is that they need to drop an exam, cancel their registration for a particular exam. And a third reason is that they may need to change an exam, either scheduling an alternate instead of a regular, or changing an exam from one exam to another. This tutorial will walk through the various steps needed to edit a student's record. There are several ways that schools can access the utility to edit a student's record. The most common way is to click on a student's name in one of the various reports. Here we're going to go ahead and look at a biology roster and edit a student from there. We're going to go down and look for the student we want to edit, which is this TR test student, and we're going to click on the student's name. This will bring up a summary of the student's record. This screen does not allow us to edit, so we'll need to scroll down. Please note the scroll bar inside the pop-up that I'm using here to scroll down. We're going to scroll down to the bottom and click Edit Student Info. This is going to pop up a form that will actually allow us to edit this student's information. Let's say that the student um, entered the incorrect name. We can edit that. We can edit any of the demographic information here. We could change their phone number and so on. Let's say we also need to edit the student's exams. Um, there's a couple things that we may need to do here. One is uh, we may need to drop an exam. In order to drop exam we can uh, go ahead and click dropped and this will cancel this exam for the student. Let's just do this one step for the student and click Next. Since our registration is in the cancellation fee portion of our refund policy, the system has calculated a cancellation fee. I'm going to go ahead and leave that. I'm going to charge this student $20 to cancel this exam. I'm going to click Finalize Changes and the student's record will have been updated. Another way to edit a student's record is to use the database management tool found in the AP Report Center. This is found at the bottom of the AP Report Center in the Record Management section. Here we can click Database Management and then search for the student that we would like to edit. To edit the student's record we click Edit next to the student's name. This will once again pull up our edit form. In this particular exam, we are going to edit the student's record to change an exam that was incorrectly registered. This student registered for English Language when they really wanted to register for English Lit. So the first step will be to drop the exam. When we drop this exam, the system will record a negative fee to cancel out the fee that was entered at registration. We can then choose the exam that they meant to register, in this case English Literature, and pick a teacher. Once again we'll scroll down to the bottom and click Finalize, or click Next. This is going to bring up the payment section. Now since our exam is in the late fee registration period, the system is trying to assign a late fee. Since the student is changing exams, we do not want to charge a late fee, so we'll zero that out. Likewise, we do not want to charge a cancellation fee as the student is just swapping exams. These two fees are auto-calculated based off your rules depending on the time that you are doing this. So please verify fees when doing it. We do want to charge a $90 fee as the English language fee will be reversed, so we do need to add a fee for the English Lit exam. Click Finalize Changes. and the student record is now complete, we can go and verify that the information is correct. We're going to view the student's record. We can see that the English language fee was reversed and the English literature fee was added. And we can close this window.